Betelgeuse, the colossal red star situated at the fringes of our galaxy, is issuing cautionary signals across the cosmos. Leveraging the cutting-edge James Webb Space Telescope, scientists have stumbled upon profoundly unsettling revelations concerning this behemoth star. Esteemed astrophysicist Brian Cox has sounded a grave alarm, prompting the pressing question, are we teetering on the brink of a catastrophic supernova explosion poised to irrevocably transform our celestial panorama? Let's embark on this inquiry, in the expansive cosmos where stars undergo birth, radiance, and eventual demise in spectacular fashion, one stellar entity has captivated the attention and evoked concern among astronomers and enthusiasts alike. This stellar luminary is none other than Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star of immense proportions and antiquity, prominently ensconced in the Orion constellation. Its distinctive crimson hue and fluctuating luminosity have long enthralled observers, but recent revelations have intensified interest in this celestial colossus. As we delve deeper into the enigma of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves on the precipice of a potentially momentous juncture in the life cycle of this celestial giant. Could we be on the verge of bearing witness to an extraordinary cosmic phenomenon of monumental proportions? Betelgeuse, boasting a magnitude 764 times greater than our Sun, looms as a titan in the cosmos, its gargantuan scale defying easy comprehension. Envision a star so immense that were it to supplant the Sun, its outer periphery would extend beyond Mars, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its vast embrace. This staggering magnitude not only underscores Betelgeuse's physical enormity but also signifies its evolutionary phase in the stellar life cycle. A S A red supergiant, Betelgeuse finds itself nearing the denouement of its existence, a phase characterized by its expansion in size and cooling, following eons of catalyzing hydrogen into helium at its core. But just how ancient is Betelgeuse? Estimated to be between 8 to 8.5 million years old, it may appear youthful by terrestrial standards but stands as a venerable entity in the cosmic chronicle of stars. Its present guise as a red supergiant reflects the culmination of millions of years of metamorphosis, transitioning from a scorching, azure-hued orb to the sprawling crimson giant that graces our skies today. The narrative of Betelgeuse's life cycle unfolds a mesmerizing saga of metamorphosis, driven by the ceaseless interplay of nuclear fusion and gravitational forces. The ruddy hue of Betelgeuse, setting it apart further, stems from its comparatively cooler surface temperature vis-a-vis -vis stars like our Sun whereas the Sun's surface registers a toasty 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse boasts a cooler exterior, with temperatures hovering around 3,500 Kelvin. This diminished thermal state endows Betelgeuse with its characteristic crimson radiance, however, the crimson tint of Betelgeuse serves a purpose beyond mere aesthetic allure, offering insights into the star's physical constitution and the dynamic processes transpiring within its colossal gaseous corpus. Betelgeuse's chromatic spectrum has undergone evolution over epochs, adding layers of intrigue to its celestial persona. Historical records from ancient Rome and China suggest that Betelgeuse exhibited a yellowish hue around two millennia ago. It wasn't until the 9th century that Arab scholars first documented its reddish complexion. This chromatic metamorphosis spanning centuries serves not merely as an archival footnote in astronomical annals but as a significant barometer of the star's evolutionary trajectory. Another facet of Betelgeuse's allure lies in its mercurial luminosity. Classified as a semi-regular variable star, Betelgeuse undergoes periodic fluctuations in luminosity, a mesmerizing dance of light variation that has ensnared the fascination of astronomers and celestial aficionados for generations. Betelgeuse typically follows a 400-day cycle of luminosity oscillations, interspersed with longer cycles spanning approximately five years. These luminosity patterns, meticulously chronicled since 1836 by Sir John Herschel and echoed in Aboriginal oral traditions, underscore Betelgeuse's enigmatic nature yet, what lends Betelgeuse an air of mystique is not solely its luminous variability but the capricious unpredictability accompanying these fluctuations. Unlike stars adhering to predictable luminosity schedules, Betelgeuse occasionally veers from its anticipated trajectory, hinting at complex and incompletely understood phenomena unfolding within this titanic celestial entity recently, Betelgeuse thrust itself into the global spotlight among astronomers and stargazers owing to a surprising and substantial alteration in its appearance, an occurrence now widely dubbed the Great Dimming. In the waning months of 2019, Betelgeuse, a celestial luminary renowned for its prominence in the Orion constellation, commenced a dimming process that confounded observers. 
This dimming was so pronounced that the star's luminosity dwindled by an average of 0.01 magnitudes daily, plummeting to its nadir in February 2020. Ordinarily conspicuous even amid the glare of urban light pollution, Betelgeuse perceptibly dulled, a metamorphosis discernible even to casual sky gazers. However, deciphering Betelgeuse's behavioral anomalies presents a quandary owing to the temporal paradox inherent in stellar observations. When we cast our gaze upon a celestial entity like Betelgeuse, we are, in essence, peering into its past, not its present, owing to the temporal lag in light propagation. With Betelgeuse situated approximately 725 light years away, the photons arriving at our retinas today commenced their journey seven centuries ago from the star's surface. This temporal disparity complicates efforts to prognosticate and monitor rapid fluctuations in stellar activity, as we are effectively traversing cosmic time. Andrea Dupree, associate director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, along with her cadre, closely monitored this celestial event. Employing the Hubble Space Telescope as part of a protracted three-year initiative to scrutinize Betelgeuse's outer atmospheric dynamics, their endeavors yielded invaluable insights into the vagaries of variable stars such as Betelgeuse. The Hubble Space Telescope's capacity to discern ultraviolet wavelengths afforded researchers a window into the regions immediately above Betelgeuse's surface, where turbulent convection currents incited by the star's tumultuous interior engendered a cauldron of activity. Analyzing spectral data amassed by Hubble during the period spanning 2019 to 2020, researchers discerned the trajectory of matter within the star's outer strata. They focused their scrutiny on magnesium-2 spectral lines, which furnish clues regarding Betelgeuse's atmospheric conditions. These investigations unveiled a scenario wherein material hurtled away from the star's surface at velocities approximating 200,000 miles per hour, dispersing into its extended expanse. This scorching, dense material coalesced into a nebula shroud extending millions of miles from Betelgeuse, eventually coalescing into the dust cloud culpable for the star's diminished luminosity. Dupree and her associates noted that over the three-month duration of this phenomenon, Betelgeuse forfeited roughly double the customary quantum of material from its southern hemisphere. This mass ejection, concomitant with the ensuing dimming, engendered fervent debate among astronomers regarding the potential harbinger of an impending supernova event. Betelgeuse's relatively proximate proximity to Earth, encompassing a span of approximately 725 light years, amplifies the intrigue. For any prospective supernova would manifest as an unmistakable spectacle observable from our vantage point, proffering a singular opportunity to behold such a celestial spectacle firsthand. Nonetheless, this begets the question, what implications does this dimming portend for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a prelude to an imminent supernova cataclysm, or merely an extraordinary interlude in the star's protracted and labyrinthine chronicle? A myriad of conjectures has surfaced to expound upon this abrupt metamorphosis. Foremost among them is the notion that it may constitute a precursor to a supernova event, a contention gaining traction given the prevailing belief that Betelgeuse stands on the cusp of its life cycle denouement. An alternative theory posits the presence of dust, conceivably of stellar provenance, occluding our view. Given the propensity of red supergiants like Betelgeuse to shed material, it is conceivable that this ejected debris might coalesce into a dense shroud sufficiently obfuscating the star's luminosity as perceived from Earth. A third hypothesis delves into fluctuations in the star's photosphere, its outermost visible stratum, which could exert an influence on its apparent luminosity elucidating this enigma necessitated exhaustive investigations employing an array of observational methodologies. Spectroscopic scrutiny disclosed a diminution in Betelgeuse's surface temperature, intimating that the dimming might stem from the emergence of a substantial dark spot on the star's surface. The credibility of this hypothesis surged upon discovering that Betelgeuse's temperature plummeted by at least 170 Kelvin during the dimming phase, signaling significant alterations on its surface. Ultimately, the elucidation of this peculiar phenomenon stemmed from humanity's celestial observatory, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's revelations indicated that the dimming predominantly resulted from a substantial expulsion of scorching material into the void of space. This ejected material coalesced into a dense dust cloud, obstructing a portion of Betelgeuse's surface from our view, thus diminishing the star's luminosity. The genesis of this dust cloud is believed to trace back to superheated plasma erupting from a sizable convection cell on Betelgeuse's surface, traversing through its warm atmosphere to the cooler outer reaches. 
As this plasma cooled, it condensed into minuscule dust grains, eventually forming a cloud obscuring light emissions from roughly one-fourth of Betelgeuse's surface area. The deployment of the Hubble Space Telescope, equipped with ultraviolet light spectroscopy capabilities, proved pivotal in reconstructing the sequence of events precipitating Betelgeuse's luminosity downturn. Commencing in January 2019, these observations discerned the presence of dense, warm material traversing the star's atmosphere preceding the dimming episode. By December 2019, ground based telescopes corroborated the decline in Betelgeuse's luminosity, particularly pronounced in its southern hemisphere. This material, initially radiating brighter than Betelgeuse's customary luminosity, eventually contributed to the formation of a shadowy shroud as it expanded and cooled. The prevailing theory posits that this ejected material, along with the ensuing dark cloud, underpinned Betelgeuse's abrupt dimming, thrusting the star into the astronomical limelight. The sheer magnitude of mass ejected, estimated at roughly 400 billion times the mass observed in a typical solar coronal mass ejection, underscored the momentous nature of this event, not only for Betelgeuse, but also for advancing our comprehension of stellar mechanics. This voluminous mass expulsion, believed to exceed several times the mass of our moon, marked a pivotal juncture in our understanding of stellar dynamics. Yet, the implications of this massive material release for Betelgeuse and broader supernova theories remain a subject of fervent inquiry, the upheaval in our understanding of supernovae is profound. Conventionally, it's postulated that red supergiants like Betelgeuse steadily shed mass before culminating in a supernova cataclysm. However, the magnitude of this ejection challenges this notion, suggesting a more turbulent and potentially unpredictable denouement for such stellar giants. Is Betelgeuse primed for its grand finale, a supernova event poised to unfold within the next few millennia? Recent research hints at the possibility of an accelerated timeline, with some suggesting the event may transpire within mere decades or moreover, the concept of a bow shock assumes prominence in comprehending Betelgeuse's trajectory. As the colossal star traverses space at approximately 67,000 miles per hour relative to its environs, it generates a bow shock akin to the wave preceding a vessel in motion. This phenomenon arises from the collision of Betelgeuse's outer layers with interstellar gases and dust, offering insights into the star's dynamic activity and its interplay with the cosmic milieu. Analyzing Betelgeuse's bow shock not only unveils its present state but also enriches our understanding of stellar evolution and mass loss mechanisms subsequent to the ejection event, observations indicate a cooling and reduction in density across Betelgeuse's surface, leaving the star in a less stable state in the years following the incident. Hydrodynamic simulations suggest a correlation between the star's convective motions, mass expulsion, and alterations in pulsation patterns. This sustained instability prompts inquiries into the underlying mechanisms propelling these phenomena and their prospective outcomes. Furthermore, the rate of mass loss exhibited by Betelgeuse surpasses that of many other stars, hinting at a convoluted interplay of internal dynamics. These findings underscore the dynamic and somewhat unpredictable facets of Betelgeuse's life cycle, compelling astronomers to recalibrate their understanding of stellar evolution. Nevertheless, amidst these seismic transformations, a lingering question arises, is Betelgeuse hurtling towards its explosive denouement as a supernova? This quandary has emerged as a focal point within the astronomical community. Although the precise timing remains debatable, the recent extraordinary mass expulsion certainly accelerates Betelgeuse's timeline, suggesting the event may unfold sooner than previously anticipated.